I'm with the Great Britain players along with their head coach. So, Coach, obviously not the outcome you wanted today against a powerhouse like Team Canada, but talk about how important it is for you and these fine young ladies to gain that kind of experience. It's once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime game experience for them. They'll never get it again until the next World Championships, and the next World Championships they'll be coming out harder and stronger. So for some of the players on the team, there's up their first cup game, their first anything. Some of them have never played before. So actually, as part of this promoting ball hockey for the UK, it's massive. Yes, it's against Canada, but actually, that's even better. If we were against a team that was a lower team than us, then it wouldn't get as much coverage. But we've just stood our own for two periods against Team Canada. That's big. And that will be big in the UK. My netminder for today, Caitlin Woolley. Obviously, it was very hot and humid in that arena. So in that arena, it's tall. How did you feel before the game, and how did you feel during the game in that arena? Um, before the game, I was definitely nervous. Um, excited to play Canada, the best, the best, best team. Um, but yeah, it was, it was all about mindset, I think, trying to get myself calm, collected. Yeah, I, I was ready for it, to be honest. I enjoyed it. Tegan, hi. You came in relief for the starter, Caitlin Woolley. What did the coach say to you when you came into the game, with your team obviously being down? She always had the period of my life. She just said, don't worry about it and play my game, and they'll play theirs. And I think we did a really good job. We just got a little bit tired towards the end, but we were playing Canada, and I think we need to realize that. But we had a really good game. I noticed you got emotional after the game. Just describe your emotions for the fans at home who have been watching and supporting you. It was definitely a lot of passion, obviously. Trying to keep your head in that kind of game. We knew it was going to be tough, but obviously letting that many goals in, it is kind of like, it's going to happen as a goalie, but it's all that emotion. And with it being my first World Championship, well, our first World Championships, we knew it was going to be, every game was going to be tough. But the Canada girls were amazing. My team with them were amazing, just the way they kind of, you know, hugged me, gave me all these positive messages, and it was so, so nice. And thank you to both teams because they were absolutely amazing at the end because I was, I was in tears. <laughs> <laughs> so I spoke with a couple of players from Team Canada earlier, and I asked them about how important it was for them to show you guys support and thank you for coming to the tournament. What does that mean to you when you go up against a team like Canada and they come out and support you and show you such positive emotions? Um, I think it shows respect. I think they respected us as players. Yeah. I think they felt that, that actually you were hurting, you were passionate, yeah. mm -hmm. but they really did look like they really cared. Yeah. It was lovely, it was really nice. And ultimately the relationship between Canada and, you are, um, um, and the UK are gonna be even better. We're gonna go back to the hotel and see them, making friendships including other players that actually didn't get on or whatever, they were just brilliant. Was... So Caitlin, what did that mean to you after the game, getting such good emotional support from Team Canada? It meant, it meant the most to because it, it showed that it wasn't just about the game, it was about the human interaction, the, it was, yeah, the passion, it just... We all have the same thing in common. Yeah. Yeah? We all yeah. have the same thing in common. Yeah. We, want, we love the sport, we want to play it, mm -hmm. and win or lose, you still know yeah. part of it. So ladies, thank you so much for your time. Again, very impressive the way you showed heart, grit, and determination against a team like Canada. Anybody you want to say hi to back home? Oh, my whole family. So Simon, Callum, Dylan, my mum, yeah, they're all there watching and supporting. Tegan? <laughs> yeah, again, my whole family and friends who have supported me in getting here. Um, Everyone, like my mom, my dad, Tyler, Megan, they've just all been absolutely amazing. I'm gonna get emotional again. Gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Caitlin? Anybody you want to um, say hi? My dad and sister are all friendly here with me, so. Oh, good. Yeah, it means a lot to me. Um, my, my, my mom, I think, yeah, just my Don't mom. Cry. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, and congratulations again.